The next item that I'm going to show you guys is the item inserter. It is a fantastic little system uh, to uh, pretty much transport items. Um, it can be used as a sorting system, although when you click on it, it only has six slots. So it's more useful for automation purposes rather than a sorting system. So what you can do is, say you have a furnace there, furnace there, a casting table there for whatever reason, and a casting table there for whatever reason. Now you want to connect all, um, have everything go into one point, say this item inserter, and go to the various furnaces. Let's grab ourselves one of these guys, and one of these guys, and one of these guys. So we have four different colors of crystal shards. Now you just stick the shards in the various slots, like so. And um, it's not doing anything. That's because you need to use this nifty tool right here, the linker. You just shift and then right click to link it up. Now you'll notice that these guys right here are all being linked up and it is currently inventory right click left click entity or inventory now say we only wanted curari shards to go in there just click on that right there it has to be right click because it is a casting stand left click it would uh, do other things now say we don't actually want Curari shards to go there, so you would turn off that one right there, and say, um, right click, you want Carmere shards, so you find the third one, and then right there, and Carmere shards are going into it. So pretty much the slot numbers uh, align with these red bars, so 1 is this one, 2 is this one, 3 is this one, 4 is this one. 5 is 5th slot and 6 is 6th slot and as you go down the line you just uh, come to these guys and if you don't have um, anything in the slot you can actually click on it but these little plus signs right there you can click on red means no go red means go I mean green means go as you would expect so uh, that's only one item that we have connected up let's connect up the furnace the other casting stand and that furnace now as you can see, we got it all up. Furnaces will want to do inventory, and uh, casting stands will want to do right click. So let's say that uh, magenta shards are going to go into this guy, as we've seen. Uh, his veste shards are going to go into the furnace. Turn that guy off because he's a little loud. We want Carmere shards to go into this casting stand, so. Third one into oh, that, that one right there. Now it's going into there. Turn that off because again it's loud. And then the fourth one we want to have uh, receiving the Rusovo shards. There we go. And that guy is gaining the shards right there. They will be in order of what you link. They will also give you the location. And it also respects redstone signal. I'll let you figure out that because that is way more complicated than this basic tutorial is trying to get into. Next up, we have the lumen lamps. The lumen lamps are pretty much glowstone lamps, but wirelessly controlled with the lumen lamp controller. Now, it is currently on channel zero, and when you place down a lamp, it will also be on channel zero. And when you toggle it, the lamp turns on so as you can see we now have three different lamps but when we change this guy to one that'll turn off and when we change that to two that also turns off now let's change this guy to channel one. Oh, look at that the Nilo lamp on channel one is lit up and then when we switch it to th two the Nilo lamp turns off and the Zambrara lamp turns on now there's also uh, modes that you can do redstone uh, redstone flux or shaft power. I personally prefer uh, redstone. Of course, it start raining. Go away, rain, because you can toggle it on and off with redstone signal. So that'd be useful for 
like warning lights for your reactor in case it's um, overheating, stuff like that. You know, you can uh, light up lamps to s simulate how um, full an inventory is based on comparators. You can do a lot of things with it. The next items that I'm going to show you are an interaction with Thomcraft, and they are the Essentia Relays. Um, hold on, I forgot to do one. And that is put a water bucket inside. Alright guys, so to use the Essentia Relay, you just need to have some warded jars, and it uses it in its for the alchemy station mainly the alchemical construct so what you do is you have these warded jars and you just plop on a relay on the back and it will draw the aspects from the jars at range to uh, make stuff so like say I wanted to do niter pretty simple it just draws from the aspects that it needs and it can draw from any number of worded jars now it will not draw from the aspect jar from chromatic craft um, but that is something else but that'll have to wait until the next episode until then bye bye now